Coming up on this edition of the show, Donna King tells us all about summer reading at the Guernsey County Library. Roberta Holmes and Jane Moore give us the details on an American Historic Heritage Society plant sale coming up. And we'll talk Boy Scouts with Amanda Wisniewski. It's all ahead on this edition of Talk of the Town. From the U.S. Bank Studios, it's Talk of the Town with Perry Baranich. Hey, welcome to another brand new edition of Talk of the Town. We're coming to you as always from U.S. Bank Studio in beautiful downtown Cambridge. And as always, we hope you're having a great day. We really do. Donna King is in the house. Donna King is the children's librarian for the uh, Guernsey County District Public Library. And we're here to uh, talk about a whole lot of stuff. Oh, my goodness. We're probably not, not, I probably won't be able to speak about everything that needs to be speak, spoken about. You but wanna, I'll you, do my best. You want to start with the summer reading? Yeah. Well, no. Let me start okay. with something that we're going to have on the 25th which is Thursday which is Thursday okay we're having actually something called a book swap oh that's something unusual we've never done this uh, we're gonna have we have a cart and each child can bring three books and trade them for three more books. Good way to get new books. Right, good way, and then you can just, you know, keep them, we're gonna see where this goes. So, and hopefully when people come in and do that, they'll also wanna check things out. Yeah, and, and it, because, you know, if you've read a book already, it's pretty much just gonna right. set somewhere. Yeah, so uh, this is a way that you could just, you know, Take books from each other and, and share them. And that's on the 25th, correct? Yeah, that's on the 25th. That's okay. Thursday, and okay. it's the whole day. Okay, well, I'm so, just going to let you tell us where you want to go. Okay, I'm going. <laughs> where I'm, we're going to go next is our summer reading program. Okay. Uh, we're very excited about it this year. As usual, the uh, State Library uh, has, p has picked a really nice theme for us. It's called Build a Better World. And you always have the shirts and things. We have a shirt. I know that. it's backwards, yeah. but yeah. anyway, this is what I'll look like every probably. We're gonna a have lot to do the summer. next one like an ambulance, you yes. know, so we can tell. What probably it is. right. Probably but build a better world. Right. Build a better world, which I love that thing because mm -hmm. it's it's a, it can be taken so many different ways. And 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 my best, I guess, the reason why I like it the most is because. To build a better world, we all have to be kind mm -hmm. and considerate of each other. Mm -hmm. And so you can go that angle and you can construct and you can build with Legos and you can do all kinds of stuff like that. So anyway, we have flyers at our library right now okay. uh, and we also have all this information on our website. Uh, summer reading starts with a kickoff week okay. on June the 12th. Okay. Uh, we have a whole lot of activities. We have like five or different activities. that particular week. week. Okay. The, the most interesting one, I mean, they're all interesting, I shouldn't say that, but we have uh, a pop artist who is going to be coming to our library on the 14th, which is a Wednesday, uh, from 1 to 3, and he is a distinguished artist. Well, you've got an example I've got of an what example. would be considered and, and he pop sent, art. He sent us several posters that we... Uh, that we are going to actually raffle off, so and this they're would signed. Be considered pop art. And this okay. is cool. this is, cool. is Clifford. This is Clifford. Okay, Anybody yeah. who has children knows yeah. all about Clifford. Yeah. And uh, he has uh, he has lots of really big things that sell for thousand dollars. I sure. mean, this guy is on exhibit at art art centers all over the place. But anyway, he's coming. He's doing a program with us about, he's written a book, and he also uh, is going to he's going to talk about that, and then the kids that come, it's limited to 50 children, okay. from K through 12th grade, are going to be able to create their own pop art collage to take home. So pre-registration then would be required? Registration is going to be required for that. How do they do that? that? They're going to be able to, re to register for this, and many, uh, most of our, a lot of our other summer reading programs that require registration, all of the registration starts on May 30th. Okay. You'll be able to call, you'll be able to come in, or you can go on our website and you'll okay. be able to sign, you'll be able to register there. Okay. Uh, and it's just uh, GuernseyCountyLibrary.org. Very easy. Yes, very, very easy. easy. To find. Uh, one thing I also wanted to mention, you know, we have our, 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 uh, our kickoff week, but then also at the top of the flyer, we also have our usual Wednesday programs. We're having four mm -hmm. of them. Mm -hmm. So we offer those in the morning from 10 to 11 or in the afternoon from 1 to 2. They're for kids preschool up through the fifth grade, and it's just loads of fun. 
Okay. Loads of fun. One thing I wanted. One thing I wanted to ask you before we. I think we've got about two minutes left. Oh goodness but heavens! Why is it so important for kids oh, to read goodness. during the summer? Why? Why is it so important? Okay, if it, it's it's just been proven. It's been proven in, with testing in schools that children who do not read during the summer, they're tested before this before the summer you know before summer starts and then when summer ends, their test scores, their reading comprehension, all the things that you need to be able to do to read, go down. Hmm. That's called the summer slide. Okay. And all you need to do to prevent that is to keep your children reading, attending summer reading program at the library is a great way to do that yeah it's not like school it's tons of fun sure. we sure. offer all these other things that i mentioned and mm -hmm. i real quick want to mention that we also are offering a lot of uh programs for young adults okay. which are teens okay. uh, tons of things we have a flyer about that uh i really encourage the you know and it's all free well, I gave you an example. Our, our uh, oldest granddaughter, Stella Grace, who's 12, mm -hmm. uh, from the time you could uh, imagine she had her nose in a book. Right. Always has her nose in a book. Well, she is now into advanced programs in schooling. Right. And it's all because she took right. the initiative to learn. That's exactly right. Yeah. That's exactly right. What better way? I mean, get your children a oh. library card. Well, I know. It's you love free. to read. I love oh, to read. Oh, my God. I, I mean, I'm always reading. I have, reading. To, have, I have to have something mm -hmm. to read. Or, yeah, and always. one on reserve. Yeah. Uh, we got about less than a minute. Where do you, how do you want to wrap it up? Uh, let's see. How do I want to wrap this up? I want to make sure that folks re realize that we do, uh, you know, I want to reiterate the, the, that we have summer uh, reading programs for, young, for adults. Young, young adults. And then I want to also mention real quick that, that we also are offering things like family Lego programs, baby times. Okay. Uh, and all of those are listed in the flyer and on our website. Okay, Everything so is there. It's going to be a busy summer at the It'll library, so but it's going to be beneficial for you. Very okay? rewarding. Hey, read, read, read. You right. know, they always said reading is fundamental, but reading is fun. That's right. Yeah, it's you know, fun, and you'll learn fun all and kind of great stuff. Donna King, Children's Librarian from the Guernsey County District Public Library. Thank you so Wish much. Wish you the best with your upcoming. Oh, thank you. And then next time you come on, we'll get the backwards shirt so everybody can. Okay, okay, that's what we'll do. That's what we'll try to do. Thank you. Back with more talk of the town right after this. Talk of the Town will be right back. Learning Jungle on Main Street, formerly Main Street School Supply, is located in downtown Cambridge just west of the courthouse on Wheeling Avenue. They have a huge location full of educational resources and toys that teach, as well as entertain. They feature a large inventory of gifts for children of all ages, and you just have to check out their selection of stuffed animals, puppets, games, and much more. The Learning Jungle on Main Street, downtown Cambridge, has layaway for your convenience and is the area's only specialty toy store. A world of knowledge is waiting for you at their front door. The Old Country Loft in Byesville is full of quality country primitives and a whole lot more. Ruth Dixon and her crew bring you the things you need to decorate your home with country charm and warmth. The Old Country Loft, corner of Main and Glass Avenue, Byesville. Cambridge is more than just a town. This is our home. Supporting downtown Cambridge means shopping at the places we love with the people we love. For the stuff we can't get anywhere else. Food that tastes like home and personal service from people who know your name. The money we spend here will keep our town growing. Let's all shop small for our town. The home we love. And the uniqueness that makes Cambridge a, a great, great place to live, work, and play. Cambridge Classic Ford in downtown Cambridge prides themselves on offering the largest inventory and the best customer service in the area. Visit their lot and experience the Classic Difference. The Classic Difference provides customers a service above and beyond what you'll find anywhere else. Their service department, body shop, and parts department strive for the best service and pricing in southeastern Ohio. Stop by the lot and browse their large selection of new and pre-owned inventory, ask about easy financing, or schedule an oil change. That's Cambridge Classic Ford in downtown Cambridge. Stop by and experience the classic difference for yourself. Check out Talk of the Town on Facebook. Go to Facebook.com slash Talk of the Town Show and stay up to date. 
Hey, welcome back and thank you for watching Talk of the Town. My next guests are Jane Moore and Roberta Holmes and they represent the American Historic Heritage Society. Good to see you guys. Yes. Or you thank call you. it Oz ah. for short. <laughs> yes. It's got a certain ring to it. You know yes, that? Yes, it does. <laughs> um, let's start, Jane. Tell us what is the American Historic Heritage Society all about? Well, what we're trying to do is to promote what happened here in America um, in the last however many hundred years it has been that we've been here. Um, you know, they do the Dickens thing here, and we thought, you know, well, what was going on? Well, uh, Charles Dickens was over in England, and Victoria was on the throne. What was happening here in our town, in our country? Um, two, you know. To, let's put them together and have people know about both. That would be very interesting. Yeah. Any, give, give, uh, give me a, a for instance. Um, well, there was a Revolutionary War. Victoria was uh, put on the throne about, in, I think it was uh, 1823, if I remember correctly. I could be wrong. Um, and so she went all the way to 1901. So all that history in there, what was going on in England and what was going on in America, and there was a lot of interaction. So. Um, let's get our history straight and put them all together so people can see the whole picture instead of just one little piece. Wow, that that's phenomenal. That I didn't know I didn't know you did that. <laughs> yeah, that's what we try to do. Wow, you're located here in Cambridge. What, what's, yes, what's your address? Um, 501 Wheeling Avenue at um, the, uh, yes, I can't remember the name now. <laughs> that's okay. Gone. Um, I was guessing your yeah. name before I started, but I, mean, yeah. <laughs> but I mean, it's here in Cambridge, and yes, folks yes. Can, how can folks find out more? Just stop? I stop by, um, you know, come in one. and talk to us, yeah. Um, okay. We have our meetings on Monday nights at 6 p.m. Um, at the store, um, Okay. And everybody is welcome to come in and find out what's going on and, and see what we're going to do next. Okay. Roberta, you have a plant sale coming up, and that's what you want to start yes. talking about. So tell us all about it. When, okay. When's it going to take place? What's, what all is going okay. to take place? It's May 27th, which is this Saturday, this Saturday. from 10 to approximately noon. Uh, it's going to be in front of the Bygone Air store here on 501. Uh, you got Rolling. it, didn't you? Uh -huh. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, dear. Uh, we have, instead Thank of a you. rain date, we still will have it, but we will have uh, it in the back of the store outside in a tent. Uh, so just go around on 5th Street. There's be a, a sign. Um, a parking area there, and we will have a tent up with the plants underneath guard hopefully and uh, there's about uh, I would say roughly a hundred plants. Wow, what point. kind of plants? Uh, most of them are perennial. Perennials. Uh, we have a few herbs and we have strawberry plants. Um, my understanding, I haven't seen them yet, but some have strawberries on them. So. Wow, <laughs> it's strawberry season. Yes, yeah, right, I love this time right. of the year. Yeah. What's the sale for? What are the proceeds going to go for? Okay, uh, we uh, do not have our, um, uh, I can't even think of the name of it, our non-profit profit organization, okay. organization okay. Uh, status yet. Yeah. So but that's we're what working that will towards go for. that. Okay. Uh, okay. And, uh, hopefully, you know, we can get to that before too much longer. But these these different things that we're doing is going to be things that will help us get to to that okay, point. Okay, great, great. And uh, I'm sure you're going to have some great perennials and some great herbs. I've you know. been digging and a Boston lot. Firm. Have you been digging a lot? <laughs> oh, yeah. And I it's always encourage good. people, to, if, you know, if you want everlasting beauty, plant, plant perennials. Mm -hmm. right. You don't have to mess with them year in and year out. Yeah. Except to take them down because there's too many. <laughs> yeah, and they do spread rather quickly. But then you have other plants. Yes. You know, yes. You got that. So that is coming up um, this Saturday. Correct. Exactly. Okay. That be so. You can get some great plants out there. Get some great and herbs. The time is what ten to ten till noon. Ten till noon. Mm -hmm. If if someone's there, we're not going to say sorry. You can't. Okay. Can't buy a plant. <laughs> okay. Let's talk. And I know you're going to come back on to talk about that. Let's talk about the Flag Day program. This is going to be coming up. Okay. The Flag Day program is going to be at what used to be considered the old kiddie pool at the Cambridge City mm -hmm. Park. Mm -hmm. uh, it is June the tenth. And it's from 3 to 4.30. Uh, we will have um, Dr. Grizz Smith, or Joe Smith, and his brother Jan. Uh, they will be there and have a program on the historic 
um, American and Christian flag. Okay. And okay. Uh, Rick Booth will be there with uh, books of his father's okay. to sell, and we will have um, flags that uh, need to be retired in the proper method. Okay. And uh, we have boxes out in six different locations right now. There is a, and, and a lot, we were just talking about this, uh, maybe a lot of younger folks don't know that there's a proper way to dispose of a flag. You dispose of a flag with honor, is that yes, correct? Yes, exactly. Okay, and so um, drop-off boxes are located all over? Yes, uh, uh, they're at the Village Hall in Byesville and in New Concord. Uh, we have them at the fire station here in town. Uh, the United Ambulance Service, the Sheriff's Department, and the State Highway Patrol. So we have okay. quite an area that we have been covering, hopefully. So and if, you, if all else fails, you can bring them to the ceremony and add them to the to the bunch. Okay, <laughs> and it will like be going to be a lot. And there is a proper way to dispose of the American flag, and as you said, the Christian flag as well. But right. make sure you know if you've got old ones <laughs> laying around at house, you've got all these drop-off locations. Take them down, put them in the box, then they'll take care of them the right way. Yes, right. exactly. All taken right. Care of. So you have got the plant sale is coming up uh, this Saturday, May yes. 27th. And I uh, hope you'll come out and get some great plants. They've been digging a lot right here. <laughs> she sure has. <laughs> I've been talking with Jane Moore and Roberta, Roberta Holmes from the American Historic Heritage Society. I do it okay if I just slow down. You yes, know that? <laughs> same right. here. Thanks for coming in. Thank you in. so much. Thank, Thank you, you, Roberta. Nice to meet you guys. Good to see you again. You were here last year, I know. Right. Hey, uh, we'll be back with more Talk of the Town right after this. Talk of the Town. Bundy Law Funeral Home, locally owned since 1924, has earned the confidence of families they serve in the area. They provide quality service to the area every day and understand at the time of need you want to find comfort in dealing with folks that know you and honors your faith and customs. You'll get straightforward answers on prices, services, and pre-planning. You'll find they offer a variety of options to personalize your funeral service. See Chris Gibson, Jim Law, or Jacob Coe at Bundy Law Funeral Home. Your one-stop shop for all things computer-related is ABC Technical Services. Whether it's designing a new website, website maintenance, PC repair, or over-the-phone tech support, ABC Technical Services has you covered. ABC Technical Services can set up a new network, install the latest antivirus software, and they even offer full video production and editing services, too. Give them a call at 740-432-5605 or visit them online at abctechnicalservices.com. A name you know, a name you trust. ABC Technical Services. U.S. Bank is the fifth largest bank in the country, and while being recognized nationally for their strength and stability, they continue to provide hometown service. At U.S. Bank, they provide a variety of products and services for your consumer and small business needs, such as free checking with internet banking, loans and lines of credit, and free financial planning services. At U.S. Bank, they're proud to support the growth and development of their communities by helping local business owners achieve success. For a show schedule of upcoming guests and to watch past episodes, go to yourradioplace.com. Welcome back to Talk of the Town. We're coming to you, as always, from U.S. Bank Studio in beautiful downtown Cambridge. Beautiful day in the oh, neighborhood today. It's gorgeous it is, out it is there. Beautiful. We're going to talk Boy Scouts right now. We're going to do that with Amanda Wisniewski, mm -hmm. the district executive for the, it's the Muskingum Valley Council. Yes. Correct, yep. of the Boy Scouts of America. Uh -huh. Good to have you hey, on the program. Nice to be here. And, um, Let's let's start. You know, you and I were talking before we started. I always like to do that. And and you said that you have a, a history with scouting growing up. Uh, now, how did that come to be? How did that come to be? I have two older brothers, okay. They're five and eight years older than me. Uh, so by the time I was born, the oldest one was in Cub Scouts already. Mom was a den mother back in the day. Dad was the Cub Master. Can't leave a baby at home. So. <laughs> so they took you along. Yep, I was the little kid in the bouncer, kicking around. You know, just learning the. Cub Scout Promise, just along with all the boys, and I grew up into it. So I joined 
of course I couldn't be a Boy Scout, so <laughs> <laughs> my mom started a Girl Scout troop for me oh, and my for friends. You? Yeah. That's awesome. Yep, so I got to be in Girl Scouts. Once I was old enough, I joined Venturing, which is the um, co-ed older youth program in Boy Scouts. So I did the whole thing, worked at summer camps with my brothers, and so here you've I been am. in it your whole <laughs> life. My whole life. Even as a an infant in the stroller. Yes. Wow. Mm -hmm. How is is Boy Scouts still doing well? Are, are, are young people still interested in scouting? I think young people are definitely still interested in scouting. I go into the schools every spring and fall and talk about Cub Scouts, try to get boys to come and join, and they're excited about it. It's just harder getting families to come and mm -hmm. do scouting together. Mm -hmm. So um, the family dynamic in the last 20 years has really changed. So It has indeed. Um, um, it's nationally been on the decline for the mm -hmm. last 10 or so years. But you've but seen local growth. Local growth, yeah. We've had consecutive growth for the last two years in our council, which is really exciting. So we're doing all right. I think we're doing really well. I think a lot of it has to do with where we live. Yeah. Those kind of things are still important to us. Yes. Wow. Absolutely. I see that. I've been living here for two years, and um, I've just fallen in love with this community, and everyone's very supportive. Yeah. Uh, so we we're still doing all right. support yes. things like Boy Scouts, Girl Scouts, yep. Cub Scouts, all of that. Let's talk about the event that's coming up the Corporate Pinewood Derby. Yes. Okay. So. As you might know, the Boy Scouts of America is a um, nonprofit organization. Mm -hmm. So um, we do have our summer camps and everything, um, but we got to keep the lights on, you know? Sure. So sure. we're trying to create some new and exciting events um, to create a little revenue for us. Uh, so I've got this corporate Pinewood Derby. It's the first time we're trying it out. Okay. So a little nervous, but it's really exciting. Um, so what that is, is we're going to have businesses, individuals, anyone and everyone that wants to participate um, can do that. Uh, you can buy a car kit um, for $25 um, if you don't have time to make one because it starts out as this block, as you see. That's a block of um, pine wood. Get, yes, it is. You get a block of pine wood. You get four wheels and four axles, and that's about it. <laughs> Um, so if you don't have the time to make it for an extra $10, which we'll donate to whichever pack. We've got scouts that we just had their Pinewood Derbies in the last few months. They're donating their cars to be used, rented. Oh. Um, sure, rent so, them out. Yes, That's rented. exactly right. <laughs> um, well, you made the one that... We, yeah. We've been looking at. It. See, you made that. I made that. Yeah. That is so cool. I mean, even mm -hmm. detailed to the tinted windows. Yep. Yeah. And um, they boys, they they have a, a riot with this. Like, this is one of our selling points to get Cub Scouts to or kids to join Cub Scouts is they get to build something with their own two hands, and they race it. You know, it's a competition, mm -hmm. but it's mm -hmm. also fun for everyone. So how many how many cars race at one time? Um, well, we have a track that can race four cars at once. Okay. Um, and it's actually really cool. It's all computerized now. So it times it times how fast your car is going down that ramp. So, <laughs> so does it go by who's the quickest, or is it just the winner of every heat? I um, guess. Well, the way this one works, um, it's an aluminum track, so it goes by the fastest time overall. So you'll have several heats where you'll be racing okay. Okay. Um, against different cars each time, usually. But overall, it calculates out like who had the fastest car. Wow. There'll be some competition oh, there yeah. because people <laughs> like to compete, you know. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Adam and I should go up against each other. Oh, yeah, You know, for that? Sure. we ought to do that. Yeah, but they yeah. can throw us out for cheating or something. <laughs> yeah, they probably would. Well, yes, we actually, <laughs> we have two types of races. Oh, we okay. Have the, we have the stock race, which is like the regular Cub Scout rules. Um, so the rules that the Cub Scouts have to abide by, that's the stock race. But then we've got the modified race where you can add anything to it. doesn't have a weight limit. Oh, anything so that doesn't explode. Trick them out. <laughs> yeah. You <Wow>. can <laughs> Nit <laughs> Nitrous no oxide tanks, all of that we kind of thing. Go boom. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Where's the event going to take place? It's going to be at the Cambridge VFW Hall. And they're hosting they're, this. Um, okay. Yep, they're helping me host this. Um, we're going to have a cash bar. So this is going to be for adults. Okay. <laughs> we're sure. going to have a cash bar. We'll have a raffle. We'll have a silent auction. I'll have some hot dog or brats and burgers on the grill. Oh, sounds you know, cool. So we'll have a little cookout. And watch the racing. And watch the racing happen. That's going to be awesome. Yeah. So how can 
would someone, if they want to get into this, how can they get the wood or how, the kit or how can they do that? I will bring it to you. You will? Yes. Wow. Delivery, Delivery is available. <laughs> that is cool. Yes, I have a box of these car kits out in my car. I will make the delivery right now if now, I can. Now, uh, can they do the whole thing if they want or can they sketch what they want on the wood and somebody else can cut it for them? How's that work? Well, um... I don't really have it set up that way yet, okay, sure. so um, maybe next year, that's an idea. Okay. Um, so right now you'll get the kit, which okay. is, like I said, the, the, block, the block of, of wood, wood, the axles, axles and the wheels. Axles and everything, okay. You'll have to design it, but if you think you're not going to have enough time, like I said, you can rent for an extra $10. Well, there you go. We'll give that $10 to the pack that, you know, let me use their cars. Um, of course, you can't keep the car. The boy made that. He'll want it back. Um, we're but you'll get to race it for an extra ten dollars. So okay. thirty-five bucks okay. from one to three on Saturday. If you want to come race a car, we'll have them there for and you. We are out of time, and it's a Cambridge VFW Post twenty nine oh one. Yes. And it's this Saturday, correct? This Saturday, May twenty seventh. All from right. One to three p.m. Hope you have a great Thank time. Thank you. Man, this sounds like fun. It's going to be a lot of fun. All right, Amanda Wisniewski, uh, District Executive for the Muskingum Valley Council Boy Scouts of America. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Yep. Thank you. We'll be back to wrap it up right after this. Learning Jungle on Main Street, formerly Main Street School Supply, is located in downtown Cambridge just west of the courthouse on Wheeling Avenue. They have a huge location full of educational resources and toys that teach, as well as entertain. They feature a large inventory of gifts for children of all ages, and you just have to check out their selection of stuffed animals, puppets, games, and much more. The Learning Jungle on Main Street, downtown Cambridge, has layaway for your convenience and is the area's only specialty toy store. A world of knowledge is waiting for you at their front door. Bundy Law Funeral Home has worked since 1924 to earn the confidence of the families they have served and continue their commitment to the community. They offer a complete range of quality services, from funerals to cremation, and honor all faiths and customs. The staff at Bundy Law understands you need to know all the available options to make the right decisions for your family. A price list is available upon request, and they invite your comparisons. You will make the right choice when you choose Bundy Law Funeral Home. Your one-stop shop for all things computer-related is ABC Technical Services. Whether it's designing a new website, website maintenance, PC repair, or over-the-phone tech support, ABC Technical Services has you covered. ABC Technical Services can set up a new network, install the latest antivirus software, and they even offer full video production and editing services, too. Give them a call at 740-432-5605 or visit them online at abctechnicalservices.com. A name you know, a name you trust. ABC Technical Services. That's going to do it for this edition of Talk of the Town. Thank you so very much for watching, and thanks again to our guests, Donna King, Roberta Holmes, Jane Moore, and Amanda Wisniewski. Please like us on Facebook. I mean, we would really appreciate it. Facebook.com slash Talk of the Town Show, and you can find all of our local programming on YouTube at YRPTV, Talk of the Town, Discover Cambridge, a lot of live-streamed events like the uh, Cambridge graduation, and a whole lot more. On YouTube, just type in YRP TV. You'll find it all right there. For producer director Adam Green, I'm Perry Bronich, and we'll see you next time on Talk of the Town. Sitting for three or more hours a day can cut off two years of a person's life. Obesity causes 44% of diabetes. Obesity in teens and children has nearly tripled in 30 years. Lack of exercise is as deadly as smoking. Get going, Guernsey! For more information about Healthy Guernsey, call Southeastern Med's Wellness Resource Department at 435-2946 or visit seorMC.org. Your sports authority in East Central Ohio is ESPN Cambridge. FM 107.9 AM 1270 on your radio dial. Featuring great programming like Mike and Mike, Dan Levitard, Ohio State Basketball, Reds Baseball, Blue Jackets Hockey, Select NFL Games, and College Football and Basketball. ESPN Cambridge is also your local sports authority too. Featuring local high school sports all year round with some viewable on cable TV2 in Cambridge or streaming online at yourradioplace.com slash YRPTV. Your home for sports is ESPN Cambridge, FM 107.9, AM 1270. 
U.S. Bank is the fifth largest bank in the country, and while being recognized nationally for their strength and stability, they continue to provide hometown service. At U.S. Bank, they provide a variety of products and services for your consumer and small business needs, such as free checking with internet banking, loans and lines of credit, and free financial planning services. At U.S. Bank, they're proud to support the growth and development of their communities by helping local business owners achieve success. Cambridge is more than just a town. This is our home. Supporting downtown Cambridge means shopping at the places we love with the people we love. For the stuff we can't get anywhere else. Food that tastes like home. And personal service from people who know your name. The money we spend here will keep our town growing. Let's all shop small for our town. The home we love. And the uniqueness that makes Cambridge a great place to live, work, and play. play. 